Good morning to everybody. I greet you all. So Saturday morning, and we will discuss a very current topic, Euro introducing uh, in Croatia, that is accession of Croatia to uh, the Eurozone. People are referring to the big financial crisis. There is obligation of EU member states, apart from Denmark, to become members of the Eurozone. However, the situation is not that simple. In the recent months, debate is ongoing in Croatia. What are the risks and what are the advantages of Croatia's entry into the Eurozone? It will happen on the 1st of January 2023. Everybody, all of that is happening after pandemics, and we have been uh, touched by inflation dangerously, and there is a there is a skeptic view that maybe because of inflation, uh, accession of Croatia to the Eurozone will be delayed. Uh, there is a number of prominent respected experts which will uh, debate this today. My name is Petr Stefanic. I am a journalist, former journalist of Croatian television and journalist of N1. Actually, I am today a former journalist. I'm working at these conferences uh, recently. In the afternoon, we will hear Maladen Sirovic, who will be moderating afternoon session. Uh, we have to thank to, uh, to the association a new perspective, and everything is happening under the auspices of the foundation uh, new uh, per directive. Uh, now, great pleasure to welcome you to this important and timely event organized in the partnership with our friends at the New Perspective in Croatia. It is important that as a conservative foundation we work together on this issue that matters on all levels, whether this is at European level or at a national one. At the core of our conservative beliefs is that sovereign nation states are free to choose their own path that includes when it comes to the economic matters. It should be ingrained in the fabric of the European Union that we are not just a union of the euro, euro currency, but that we are a multi-currency union, that the member states should be allowed to choose freely which currency they use, whether it is the euro, the Polish zloty, the Hungarian florin, or the Croatian kuna. Currency is an important to a nation as they their flag, anthem, or co their constitution. Each coin and note reflects what is a unique about the country. They portray our national heroes, our monuments, and our history. It is a means of expressing the identity of the people. But there are also more real impacts. Controlling your own currency means controlling your economy. It means maintaining fiscal policy in the hands of national governments and away from Frankfurt and the European Central Bank. It is therefore only right that the Croatian people should have the right to say whether or not they want to join the Eurozone. And I hope that this conference will be able to go some of the way in the discussing the important aspects of this debate. The people have a right to be informed about the decision that they must make on their future of their economy. I am looking forward to the great result of your conference, looking forward to meet with you soon in Croatia, and counting on the great cooperation with new perspective in Croatia. I wish you fruitful discussion. All the best, my friends.
Hvala gospodinu Porembi koji nam se opratio ovakvom putem. We thank Mr. Poreba, president of New Direction. We thank him for his video message. And now we will hear Marko Milanović Liter, president of New Perspective and member of the Croatian Parliament. Please greet him. Thank you, Peter. Distinguished guests, the media representatives, panelists, thank you for coming and thank you for your interest for today's conference. First of all, I would like to thank to Mr. Poreba and to the leadership of uh, New Direction for all of their support they have shown to the new perspective and they have shown during the organizing this very important conference and all other projects that we have done. Our last joint project happened in the last year under the title Entrepreneurship During the Pandemic. Uh, that uh, conference opened up a wider discussion debate in the Croatian society about the national recovery and resilience plan. It also uh, initiated public debate about the position of the entrepreneurs during the lockdowns and all the implications of the lockdowns to the Croatian economy. During the debate, uh, new topics uh, were touched upon. Uh, we discussed all the differences between Croatian and European entrepreneurs and their way of working during the crisis. Today's conference, Eurozone uh, Opportunity or Risk, is our second project by which we want to spurn debate among the experts on all uh, the aspects of the central banks, monetary policy, fiscal policy, and we want to emphasize all the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, Croatian joining to the Eurozone. So we will have three panels. The first one is the uh, implications of the expansion of Eurozone to new countries ability of the central bank to define key interest rate. However, there are risks, but there are opportunities. Uh, simplicity of trade between Croatia and the rest of the single market. The second panel is inflation, the next crisis. The pandemic created an increased risk of inflation because of the general lack of labor force in the Western world. Um, there are uh, there is a rising of commodity rising commodity prices and uh, so far the actions of the central banks were increasing of borrowing and quantitative easing due to uh, encouraging spending this hasn't yielded results so there is a threat that inflation will become the next major eu crisis third panel euro bonds the accession of eu in different ways. The European Commission, as its reaction to COVID-19, introduced bond recovery bonds in its efforts to generate its own uh, funds, its own resources. However, that was cri sharply criticized by those who criticize redis redistribution of wealth within the EU, claiming that actually it is a taxation in different way, and this was challenged by the German Constitutional Court. The next panel discussion, Central Bank and in the 21st century, we will pose the question, do central banks still play a major role in the 21st century by uh, online payment, peer-to-peer uh, -peer transactions, cryptocurrencies, the capital has never been more decentralized. Uh, has the time come to abandon the old model of central banking and to allow to currencies to float freely uh, at the open market or something else will uh, completely replace them. We will hear the uh, presentation of the legal constitutional expert, Martin Pelic, with the title Legal Experts on Entering Croatia to the Eurozone. Eurozone is a huge challenge for the Croatian economy and democracy. The public debate and better education of the Croatian citizens should be aim of our government during the next period. We should stop uh, debating how new coins will look like. 
and we have to discuss all the opportunities and the risks in front of Croatia. The idea of common currency has been created with the aim that different nations with a lot, uh, with too much history of conflicts uh, join their, for their forces together. However, euro currency sometimes, instead of becoming currency that unite nations, it turned into currency which uh, created even more problems. Uh, scientific papers show that regardless of the origin, economic uh, affiliation, uh, euro is becoming a bigger and bigger problem for the European Union and not uh, the aspects which connect people and countries. Uh, world experts are uh, pointing to that fact, uh, both of the right and of the left origin. A lot of economists and participants at the capital market point clearly that euro is a problem in its current structure and that the future of the euro uh, is threatened. Regardless of these concerns of many serious experts, the Croatian government has decided to introduce euro as soon as possible, regardless of possible economic implications, without a serious economic analysis and without a critical thinking and without monetary analysis. Uh, we have entered that system. Uh, Euro introduction has been presented to the Croatian nation as uh, something which, hasn't, which cannot be changed, which has to be done. So our purpose today is to emphasize all of those risks, however, also to mention opportunities. We will also uh, discuss implications uh, which will be left to the Eurozone. Uh, clearly defined figures have been uh, the main point in the past. Today, uh, those criteria are not that clear any longer. They are vague. What is, uh, is not mentioned is economic growth, uh, employ unemployment rate, export, import. All of these are problems. Croatian citizens are not familiar with. So I will now give the floor to you, to the experts, and to the moderator who will, through open discussion, point out to all the problems and opportunities of introducing Euro. I hope this will be incentive for a wider debate in Croatian society and also elsewhere.